Hello. So, the house that your star is built by Rachel Stewart Hayes. So, this one is more for those um, <laughs> who want, like, not just like a basic um, or understanding, basic to um, e intermediate of um, astrology. This is more going into you looking at um, how the houses, um, people's charts. So this can be a tool for those people who are wanting to broaden their astrology studies and going into stuff like that, like um, the different houses and how the houses of and like how like the signs in those houses affect those signs and other signs and stuff so this can be um a, a nice book and it gives examples of like um like famous people's charts um in the copy that i have they don't um they just have a place for that chart um I have the NetGalley um, copy, um, it's just slightly long released by the time I likely post this video, but yeah. Um, so it gives a like a bit introduction on like what um, astrology is um, and a little bit on like the um, get my camera like what the signs are like about a paragraph or so for each um most likely to do an interest internet search on best local hiking trails or krav maga studios for me aries <laughs> um i'd be doing the hiking trail one not the krav maga so who knows <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, a few questions, um, and then it gives you like a blank wheel chart. Um, there are two ways the word cusp is used in astrology. The most common, it is describing the beginning of a specific house. Um, you get planets and their meanings. Um, four main angles of the chart, so you get Midhaven, Imun, Koli, Descent, Ascent, so, and these are the, like, the book goes into the quadrants, so, like, it'll be going into here, 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 well, forget which rotation, um, should do first, um, 12 houses at a glance. Um, so she goes by quad quadrant. Um, so like, but um, house, so like fourth house, AKA house at home, house of home and family. And so you get this kind of setup. So related sign and planet, area of influence, positive and negative attributes, and how it balance, and then information about that house. So this was what I was saying. It's a placeholder, so like this one's Tina Turner. Um, fourth house in Aries, and Taurus, Gemini, so on. Um, sometimes you'll get this like dig deeper type of thing. Um, Look around your home. How is it serving you? What small changes could you make to feel more comfortable or connected in your personal environment? Um, having the fourth house in Capricorn can be hard. You might believe in a higher power and use that as a load star. You want to correct the mistakes done by your parents. And while that's admirable, it's exhausting. The good news is that you create a much more stable and loving, emotional, healthy relationship for the people in the home you create. It's a lot of work, but it does tend to pay off. So you get 
um, <laughs> stuff like that. And then you could like put it all together um, for the quadrant. Um, planetary patterns. So where planets may fall in your chart. So the funnel, locomotive, display as examples and then like it goes into each one empty houses which can be helpful um and then go it goes into like different areas of your life so like friendships so um aries or mars taurus or venus so like you spend a lot of energy on your friendships attracting brave and energy energetic types into your life you like groups who charge right in and while they may be of the argumentative or extreme sporty types there's another never dull moment here how to piss these friends off become lazy and remain indifferent to their passions so that was for like aries or mars um travel money um wellness and balance um so yeah it goes into different areas so if you want um like i want to say this is more on the in intermediate side um type of book because like it just seems like it is expecting you to already have that basic of I know um, the signs and everything. Um, I could be wrong. I'm not um, into um, going further into like a like astrology. Um, I may in the future get somebody to do my chart and explain it for me. <laughs> um, if you could give me reference of references of people I could go to, that'd be fantastic in the comments below. Um, like whether free or pain, I wouldn't mind either or. <laughs> but yeah, for those who do want to go into the astrology field and go into like and dissect people's <laughs> charts this book most likely can be a great resource to the other books and stuff you read so yeah the house your stars built happy readings